Today we have some huge updates from Claude and this is by far the most powerful AI model I've ever seen. I'm going to show you exactly what this means and how it's going to change everything forever. Bear in mind, you can actually get Claude now to control your computer. I actually got it to go to Google in a second. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use that and how you can actually automate a lot of your tasks because Claude can now control your computer like you can see right here. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff on what you can do on that in a minute. And inside Claude 3.5 Sonnet, if you go to Claude now, you will find this option right here, which is Claude 3.5 Sonnet New. Now, this announcement just came out a few hours ago, very, very recent. And you can see here the announcement, October the 22nd, 2024, introducing computer use, a new Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Claude 3.5 Haiku. Game changer. Now they actually show a demo of computer use, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it live on this video today and how to set it up. Additionally, you can see here the benchmarks for Claude 3.5 Sonic and Haiku New, and it is above and beyond any other model out there from what I've seen when it comes to, for example, reasoning, maths, coding, tool use, etc. So you can see the benchmarks here, for example, reasoning, Claw 3.5 Sonic scores 65%, whereas Gemini Flash, for example, right at the bottom end, has 51%, and GPT-40 is way behind right there. Now, the other thing about this is computer use. So what Claude can actually do now, and I'll show you how to set it up and how to use this in a minute, but what Claude can do now is it can actually look at images on your computer and then interact with your browser live as you instruct it to. And you don't need to code or anything like that. Very, very simple and easy to set up. I don't code and I set it up in a couple of minutes. And you can see that right here. So for example, in the chat over here, we can get Claude to do certain things. So for example, if I say, okay, go to the YouTube channel, Julian Goldie SEO. All right, so you instruct it with the agent right there. This is an AI agent that doesn't require any coding and it can interact live with your browser. Pretty mind blowing if you ask me. And then it, from here, it's going to search Google, as you can see, types in Julian Goldie SEO YouTube on Google and then goes directly to my YouTube channel. How insane is that? It can actually just interact with the internet. It can go and do loads of stuff for you. It even tells me, for example, we've now arrived at Julian Goldie's YouTube channel. You can see it has 180K subscribers and post content about SEO backlinks, website optimization. And then it's like, right, is there anything specific about the channel you'd like to know or any particular video you'd like to watch? Now you can imagine how powerful this would be for automating a lot of tasks so you would normally hire people. If you're wondering how to set up computer use with Claude so that it can control your computer and basically do stuff for you, what you can do is you can go to console.anthropic.com. Then you're going to get your API key. So you get your API key from there. Well, you want to make sure that you download Docker. Right? So you can download Docker. It's a free tool. The API is very, very cheap as well. And then from here, make sure you have Docker open and go to Terminal. Now, once you've done all of that, you can get the code from GitHub. And I will include instructions at the end of this video if you want to follow it step by step from a document. But from here, you would grab the export key. Then we're going to go to Terminal. Inside Terminal, we just paste in the prompt, as you can see, and then you insert your API key like so. So let's insert the API key. As you can see, I'm going to delete this at the end of the video. Then we can hit enter. And now what we're going to do is we will grab the Docker runner. As you can see, we're going to make sure we have Docker open. So you want to make sure that you have Docker open whilst you use this. Go to the terminal, paste this in, hit enter, and it will start doing its magic. As you can see, it will take a couple of minutes to load and it might have to download some stuff for you if you're first getting started. Now this is pretty simple stuff, like you don't need to be a coder to use this or anything. So we'll grab that URL like so. Then we're gonna open up a new tab and we'll paste the local host URL, which you can get from the terminal right there. So you just grab that, copy it, paste it into a tab, hit enter like so, and that is gonna open up the Claude computer use demo, right? And then from here, you just start giving it prompts. So you just paste in this command right here. So for example, export Anthropic API key, you can get that from GitHub and then you replace this code with your API key, which you can see right here. And then we can just go to the terminal, paste that in as you can see. Then from there, we're gonna grab this code like so. If you need to change the API key or anything like that, you can do that directly inside the computer usage. And then if we type something like open Firefox, for example, you can see here now it's opening that up. It does make this little noise each time. The way that this is working is you can see how it's screenshotting the page and then deciding what to do from there. Right? So it's working on visual. 
that's how it's figuring this out. Now it is surprisingly fast. I thought it'd be even slower, but I will say it's basic stages right now. It's not like 100% ready to automate everything you've ever done in your life. And so I think one of the quotes that I saw about this is it's kind of like GPT-3, but for computer use. Now bear in mind, this is easy to do, takes two minutes to set up, very cheap with the API plus Docker is free. And additionally, you don't have to code it, right? You just put in the prompts right there. Simple stuff. If we go back to Claude, we can start using the new version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now I've actually got an older workflow with the older version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And we're going to test something here. So I'm just going to scroll down to the content section and then we'll plug this into Claude and just see what it comes back with. So we've said create an SEO optimized article for this, heading equals blah, blah, blah. Super fast, but the main use case that I've seen for this is not so much for writing, but actually, if you look at the benchmarks, it's mainly focused on reasoning and coding, right? So if we look at these benchmarks, you can see how Claude 3.5 Sonnet compares against everything else. And this is all about reasoning, knowledge, coding, maths, and visual QA as well. There's not much information about writing. Now, if we go back to Claude, as you can see, and from here, what we're gonna say is, find me the cheapest flights in November, from England to Bangkok. It's going to run the agent as you can see, and we'll see what it comes back with and whether it can actually do research for us. So it's navigated to Google flights, then it's setting up the search. So it's choosing London, it's clicked on London, and now it's selecting the dates as you can see, it's selected the dates, return dates, etc., and it's going to search for those flights. It's like a little research machine made a lot of tasks for you. And now it's come back to us, not just with the search, but also it said, based on the search results, I can now show you the cheapest flights from London to Bangkok in November. Cheapest option is this. Here's when it departs, here's when it returns. It's looked at all the airlines, all the different options, how long it takes, etc. And it's like, right, would you like me to look at different dates or show you more details or look at flights? Like the potential of this is absolutely amazing because if you hired a VA to do that, I can almost guarantee that it's going to be very difficult to get someone to organize the information like that and do the job as quickly as possible. Whereas this required very little prompting and it did the task straight away, right? You can imagine how many administrative tasks would actually be wiped out overnight if this whole process was a lot easier and faster and it just rolled out to the general public, kind of like ChatGPT. Crazy stuff. And I'm sure that's on the way. Now, bear in mind, these are the first stages, very early stages when it comes to AI. But the potential, imagine like six months, one year down the line, I don't know what's going to happen. Like it's, it's crazy stuff. If someone is doing basic admin job, you can easily automate that with Claude computer use, right? And just imagine, you know, for example, keyword research writing content, editing content, like all of these things could be outsourced by using computer use. We'll test something else out now. So I'm going to say use Ahrefs free keyword tool, find some keywords for SEO for my website. And it seems to get a bit confused and a bit stuck in a loop right there. So it's still early days, as you can see. And I just want to show you that because I want to be honest with you and transparent. This is not going to do everything for you. Um, you can stop it at any time. Like you can see if it gets stuck. Some other cool stuff like it can do, for example, if you look at this demo video from Claude, what you can see here is they actually had a form on the right hand side and a spreadsheet on the left. And they said, please fill out the vendor request form for AMP equipment co using the data from either the vendor spreadsheet or search portal labs, right? Listen, identify it. And then it actually starts filling out the form as you can see right here. So it can fill out forms, it can do data, etc. Again, this is in its own local container now just to be safe, I believe. But crazy stuff. Now this new version of Claw 3.5 Sonic is directly available inside Perplexity and I also saw that Poe have released it too. So it's getting updated across all the other models. Here's another example of like people using it to interact with spreadsheets and stuff like that. So really wild stuff. It's amazing how well it works considering this is like pretty much day one when it comes to computer usage. So thanks so much for watching. If you want the installation instructions, I will include that inside the description just to make it faster and easier for you. Obviously, I'm going to delete my API key, but I just wanted to show you as an example how this works. And it's pretty mind blowing. Now, if you do want a one to one SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in links inside the comments description. This will show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot on this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan to discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions you have. 
You learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors with link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for it. I'm super excited to test out the computer use and should be a mind blower. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.